agree to shut down Arco Arena in Paris last night. A lot of people are really interested in this. I think Davido is gradually running off his uh, timeless tour and is getting a lot of responses to that and saying a big thank you to fans out there who actually push the movement beyond that. Right now, a lot of us are getting to understand that Davido has a big role to play in the African entertainment industry. He has been taking a lot of persons, friends, personalities on tour also with him. He took out Angeli Kijo on tour and that was all scintillating and interesting. Angeli Kijo helped the video to wow the audience and now we can really get a kind of uh, you know collaborations and interesting stories between Davido and Angeli Kijo at the end of the day. Do you think having Angeli Kijo on a song can give you Grammy swags? That is another thing a lot of us are really asking. Because Davido featured Angeli Kijo in his Timeless album and now the Timeless album got three Grammy nominations and a lot of people are really excited at that. That is to say that Angeli Kijo has a special influence to an extent. The video shutting down Arco Arena of 20,300 capacity is a landmark for Davido in the entertainment industry and a landmark for Timeless Tour by Davido. On Sunday, Davido will still be in US having a good time at the Grammys and a lot of people are saying that Davido is going home with at least a Grammy. And this guy Davido is saying he deserves 20 Grammy Awards. Do you think Davido deserves 20 Grammy Awards? Hello, what up my people? It's your boy Davido. I am nominated for three categories at this year's Grammy Award. This is my first nominations ever. It is crazy to get three nominations. That is coming in from Davido at a time like this and a lot of people are really excited and happy that Davido was able to get three Grammy nominations. That is the first time Davido is getting a Grammy nomination. Do you think Davido will be going home with a Grammy? I want you to put that in the comment section and the reason why you think Davido deserves to go home with a Grammy award. Whiskey is coming out in response to what people are saying about his appearance at Bob Marley's uh, movie premiere. I think a lot of people need to actually understand that Whiskey is still in morning state of his mom and he has not fully recovered from it according to what he posted on his Instagram about his appearance. He said, why I don't feel myself anymore? Because I'm still grieving over my mom's death. He has not recovered from the death of his mom. This is an emotional moment for Whiskey and we have to rally around Whiskey and give him that support he deserves. He used the opportunity to say, my fans, you should not be worried about me. I'm gradually coming out from the shock of my mother's death and that is quite disturbing at a time like this because people were really concerned about the appearance of Whiskey lately and saying that he's looking aged and he's looking older than himself and all these kind of things. But Whiskey is saying that yes, I am still coming out from the shock of my mom's death. Some people are supporting and rallying around Whiskey at a time like this. I think we have to pray and support Whiskey at an emotional time like this. Bonner Boy and Fizz are going to be featured on Usher's new album, Coming Home. I think that is an interesting and a win for Nigerian music industry. And a lot of people are really clapping hands for Burner Boy and Fizz for winning this international collaboration once more time. Right now, we get to understand how a lot of African artists are really getting interested in Nigerians and also American artists are really getting interested in Nigeria so that they can get a chunk of it from the Afrobeat investment. That is a big one right now. Afrobeat has come to stay and Afrobeat is one of the fastest growing uh, music genre in the world right now. A lot of people are making conscious investment in Afrobeat. The likes of Chris Brown, the likes of Usher, the likes of Snoop Dogg, they are really getting involved in Afrobeat at a time like this. What is your own take about my story so far? I want you to put that in the comment section. Throwing more light on Davido shutting down Arco Arena in Paris, a lot of us will understand that Davido always come with that great energy and vibe to an extent and when you feature the video on a collaboration you are sure of good energy coming in from the video kids daniel recently tasted the energies of uh, the video on the remix twitter that remix is getting global at a time like this especially the verses of the video 
and that remains. What is your own take about the whole story? I want you to put that in the comment section. And what do you expect from your favorite artist? Put that in the comment section. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. The African artist with the most attended concert in Africa. I'm talking about on the continent of Africa, not outside the continent of Africa because we have the likes of uh, Burner Boy and a lot of others stopping outside the continent of Africa. Right now, we're going to talk about Africa, how Africans are really in love with you. This data was shared by a particular platform and now a lot of people are really responding to that. Kaspar Inyove, South African rapper, actually shared this post celebrating his three spots on that list. We have to celebrate this guy because it is not easy for a rapper to fill up a stadium. That is one thing I got to understand by this many story that is trending out on social media. When you talk about concert, a lot of people, a lot of African countries are doing better than Nigeria. That is something you need to understand. But when you talk about streams, Nigeria is doing better. That is one thing a lot of us understand by this particular list. We see Congolese artists topping that list. A lot of them are really doing well enough for themselves and they are not complaining about it. Permit me to start from number five on number five we have Caspar Yoves with 68,000 capacity that is actually a big one for this guy and he did that years ago and can he do that right now it's not easy to do that as a rap artist that is one thing I believe about the whole story but this guy we have to give him some props up and accolades at a time like this on number four we have Davido a lot of people can really make reference to that in Africa because it's not easy to fill up a stadium or an event in Africa based on the economic hardship on the people and based on the logistics system in Africa but these guys are really doing numbers and we have to commend them to an extent. On number three we have P-Square. P-Square did 80,000 persons at a particular stadium and now these guys are really clamoring to do more and we have to celebrate Nigeria on this particular list for having upper hands and all it takes in entertainment. That is a domination from Nigeria to an extent. Number two and number one will shock a lot of persons. That is one thing I believe about the whole thing. On number two, we have Fali Pupa with 120,000 persons attending his concert in Congo. This guy is one of the biggest music artists in Africa. So that a recent arena, over 40,000 capacity arena in Paris and did about 12,500 in the UK. And a lot of people can really commend this guy to an extent. That is what I can really see. It's not easy to shut down arenas outside the continent of Africa and in the continent of Africa. Number one, we have Foregola. This guy is a Congolese artist, did 150,000 persons attended his concert. That is a big number and we got to celebrate this guy. Congolese should displace the lies of Ghana from the chain. That is something I kind of understand based on their performance musically. What is your own take about that? And put that in the comment section. I wanted to come out with Davido at the O2 Arena to perform you. And his manager sent me 31st of January. That is coming in from Skepta. And he said he would have chopped breakfast if he had attended that event this morning.